welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Woman Homecraft today, not Bushcraft. Because today I have a video for you which is a little bit difficult than my other videos. Today I am at my home, I am under the roof and as you can see in the background there is no room at all at this part of my house. So in the past there was all my bushcraft equipment, my tools, and all the stuff that having space in other rooms was here into this huge room. So, and I like when everything has its own place and its own area. Um, here you can see my tools room, which I have combined in the past with my equipment. You know, working with tools brings a lot of dirt with it and this was not a good combination. So what I want to do now is that I I want to make several rooms here inside of this area which one team. So there should be my tools room and this here should be the tools room too. This is the room where I want to start with this area and maybe in the future I have here a big living room and an equipment room for all my bushcraft stuff and maybe also a music room, I don't know. This is all um, future music. Today I want to start with this room and if you want you can join me and help me with some tips. There you know what I'm talking about. I want to show you now my um, tools room in the past equipment and tools room. All my bushcraft equipment is outside now by my prepping equipment and inside here are only tools but not all of my tools because actually there is not enough space. So just come in and take a look. So in the past it was like this that my tables were always full with tools um, and working projects and I just had not enough space so I had to change it. This room like it is now um, would be also like this in the future. The only thing that changed is that I make a hole, a door hole here in the background that I can walk between the two new rooms. So yeah, I show you a little bit from this room in detail. Here at this wall was in the past um, all the small stuff, much more than this. But I change it because now I have all the small stuff here inside. And this is much better, everything just fixed at one place. So here I have a saw, here are all the different tools, a lot with cable. I like to work with um, Echo battery, but of course um, I've got off them as a gift from family members and then I cannot put it in the trash. So I'm always happy if something is damaged, I have an extra tool that works the same. So they will stay here. Um, here is a working area, a saw. And this part here where the motor saws are at, um, here I want to remove the wall that I make an entrance in the next room, but I don't want to remove the wall, wall only here a small part that I can walk through because my plan is to have all the uh, tools that make dirt are at one room and the other tools that don't make dirt like this area here uh, or yeah all this stuff is in an extra room and I can just um, make a break between the rooms that I don't have the dirt everywhere. So, um, I want to make these rooms for a long time, but the construction wood was so expensive that I don't want to make it. And I have the hope, or I had the hope, that it is not so expensive in the next year. So actually it is the next year and everything has the same price. So I just thought for a long time what I want to use here for uh, create the walls, because every possibility was expensive. So I um, made the decision to use the cheapest one, but before I had the idea to use old wood from the barn, but um, I stopped 
this thought because I don't want to have wood um, worms inside which damaged my whole roof. But as I am working here and remove all my stuff I found something very terrible. I had to talk about it later. Um, so I had already wood worms here inside. But later about this topic. So here is the wall from the outside. I want to remove this part here that I can walk through it. And at least I want to close this wall here. But only at least because um, this working bench is then coming inside here and I had to put it over this part. And then I had to make the decision about isolation, isolation or not. So the whole room is not uh, heated. I, um, the, the heat comes from downstairs because there is no stone wall between. This is only wood between the under area and here the upper area. So I have here this isolation wall. I want to use it here at this part but only a minimum because I don't want that it is getting so expensive and um, there is always fresh air coming inside so it will not rotten. So this is the wall that I already fixed. Uh, so there is some construction behind that everything uh, is stable and hold well. And here there is an extra room. Uh, if you want to check you see nothing. There are only some part of the roofs that I don't need anymore. And I want to make here a door also. But uh, I, I have no idea what I want to do with this room because it is dark, you have not much space. So nobody really wants to climb in. Maybe you have an idea of what I can do with this room. I know when I put stuff there, behind I wouldn't come and hold, uh, bring it again because nobody wants to crawl in inside so maybe you have an uh, idea how I can use it. You can see everything is chaotic back there and because of this I want to create the rooms that everything has its own place and its own area. This working bench is then coming inside of this room and of course also the tools that are standing here around because then I have a space. Um, in this room I can only create small projects, but for big projects where I have, to, uh, where I need space, it was impossible inside there. So because of this, the tools are out there that I can move and walk, but then they should come inside of this room. Enough talked, I want to start now. The first step, what I want to do is uh, remove everything here that I can cut out the hole for the next room. The area is free now and now I remove the wall. to remove the nails because of course I uh, use them again they are good and stable and here at this part I want to fix another wooden part to have more stability I don't fix this in the past and it is not so sober like I wanted so I use this here to 
Make it looking a little bit better there. When you live in an old house, um, you are always a little bit angry when you fix something, renovate something, and it looks like not even. So I fixed this here, and it is even, it is perfect in the water, but this part here is not even, so uh, I hate something like this. Other people told me that this work is very uncomfortable because the glass wool is falling out and you have it wool over your body. So I never tried before, it is my first time. I will lay this here at the roof and then I had um, the laminate plates, I hope I mean it is the right word, I'll show it to you later, where I cover it. It is normally for the ground but I have so much of it that um, I cover my wall with it. I, it, it doesn't matter how it looks. Um, I don't want to give away so much money. Okay, for the first time, I think it's okay. It is. It was easy because of this tool. Without this tool, this would be maybe a little bit difficult. Let's make the other side. I thought I need more time for the glass wall, but um, it was going very easy. I thought I need an uh, hour, but no. So this is the laminate which uh, I want to cover the glass wool. So I fix it like this and here I had to cut it at this um, size, at this point. That means that I have a lot of the laminate um, useless later but better this than it is laying uh, several more years in, the, in this room. So um, this is pretty hard. I had to put holes inside before I fix it, otherwise it would crash open. It is not so easy for me because here with the laminate you have to click in, then hold the pressure that it doesn't um, fall out again, then make the hole and then fix it and the whole time with pressure. So um, yeah, my arms get tired <laughs> very soon um, and in this house nothing is even. Each wall has different sides. You cannot, um, you cannot check how long one side is and use it then for the wall wall. So like here there is one um, wooden part long, um, deeper than the other one is going wider out. So you have to make it individual each part.
So guys, I think I have a huge problem. As I was removing the stuff from here, I found uh, out that I have a problem inside of my roof. So I know in the past there are um, insects here in the wood, like you can see here. They eat it from inside and I, I don't find the last year any of these tracks at the ground, so those small wooden parts. Because when you see something like this, it is fresh. But I don't see anything, so I hope that everything is fine. But um, I cut this branch the last days and I found here this and this fresh uh, worm tracks. So I don't know the right English words for them. We have here in Germany several insects that laying the eggs inside of wood and the worms are eating the wood and destroy everything. So they can destroy the whole roof. And I thought, okay, the problem here was in the past. So um, I cannot ask the house owner from the past because he's dead. So I don't know if there was anything in the past, what they do, if they um, fight against them or not. But I see no fresh tracks till now. Because I collect them, I want to have a special wood curving machine where you can make bowls, for example. So this is on my wish list for several years. I don't get it till now, so... Um, but I thought I could um, have all those fruit tree branches here at this part to dry. And if I got the machine, I can work with the dry wood. But now I'm very afraid that I bring something inside with this wood which destroy now my whole roof because I found out that there are four of this um, of this uh, construction woods which are very very um, unstable so you can make this and you can hear it you find trucks there, uh, tracks, so it is very rotten and I've got four of them. And uh, as I found it out, my pulse was very high because when something like this is damaged in the house and you cannot fix it by your own, it is very, very expensive and I have no idea what to do. So, of course, there are um, brands that will help you with that. But I'm also pretty sure that they got a lot more money than it is maybe needed. Um, and I don't want to pay much more than it is really necessary. So I had to find a brand which yeah, has a really good quality. I know that there are the, the insects at the past, but now it is new that they are still there and I'm afraid. So when you take now a few to the whole project it doesn't look like I've done so much but I waste a lot of time and now this roof part here is finished so I made myself this part here I cut it into three halves because I have here a lot of this part but nothing of them fits and I just have to buy um, one for here and one for here because it is not so even here and I want to cover it a little bit. So, and uh, the next thing to do is the ground, the door there and of course the wall here and everything what should be inside later. So I am worried about the wood worms. They are growing and eating there in my wooden parts here. Maybe you have um, the same problem or had the same problem in the past and know what to do, know what I had to check or if there is something that I can fix myself or if I had to come let come somebody 
um, who helps me with this problem. So maybe you have some ideas, feel free to write it in the comments, I'm very thankful for that. And now if you want to see the next projects here and of course like how it looks um, when it's finished, feel free to watch also the next video. I wish you a great time and we see us. Bye bye!